Can you show us some of the features on the Rapsodo yeah, then today? Yeah, let me, uh, t tell you what, let me, uh, okay, can I go share screen? So you can see my screen now. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Okay, so you can see that's my, that's my cell phone. Okay, so I'm gonna pop up. So I'm, it's just an app. So you see my apps here. It, you see this MLM app in the lower, in the bottom uh, portion. So I'm gonna click on this MLM app on the bottom and it's gonna open up mobile launch monitor app. Okay, this is the home screen. So this is a, this is a scroll you can see you can see each one of these sections is a, is a session I've had. 18 shots, I think that was with my son. 32 shots, those was my son. Can keep scrolling down and, and you see all the different uh, 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 practice sessions that I've had, okay? So That's let's cool. take a look at, let's take a, so if I click on, on this one, 22 shots practice June 2nd, let's click on that one and that opens up. So there's a record of every shot that I hit that day. You can tell I hit uh, 22 shots. I hit some pitching wedges, some eight irons, some three woods. Up top, you see the average. My average distance was 127, a pitching wedge. Average distance was 150 on an eight iron. Average distance was, was 233 on my three wood. Okay, and then in the upper right, if you look, you see that outdoor. So this shows that this was outdoor as opposed to an indoor setting. And then just below that, you see a little green with the, with the flag on it. I'm gonna click on that button. And that gives the GPS view, satellite view of my actual session so this is an actual is that insane of, you guys the, it's so so freaking okay. cool so this I is mean, my range at forest hills in, in chesterfield missouri uh what happened was when i turned it on i had to, it asked me where i was so it gives me a gps view i it has it, i pinpoint exactly where on the range i was i was on the right side of, in the back of the range that's where i was if i had been on the left side i would you i would have i would have pinpointed the left side of the range and then i i do that i i uh i align the target line along where I'm where I'm aiming and then I just go ahead and hit and this is the results now I'm gonna I'm gonna put my finger you can't see me but I'm gonna put my fingers on the screen and I'm gonna I'm gonna enlarge the screen as I enlarge the screen watch what happens see oh my dot, god each dot it's color coded for the different club type so there's my dispersion that's an individual every single shot that, that shows the, the the landing area and then the cool part is if I'm gonna click this upper this one of the three but if I can click on that that is the actual shot shape. I actually pulled that one a little bit and, and drew it. So that was like a slightly pulled draw. And that went 237. Let's see this other three wood one. That was a, that was a block for, ooh, so I got, I got to go in both ways that day. Not, not great. It was windy. Uh, yeah, it was windy right there. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. It was going one way and it went I, the I, other way. I, 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 I appreciate that. So you, <laughs> so, so you can, you can kind of tell, you can kind of tell what your dispersion is and, and you get an idea of, of uh you know of, of what each each shot is and then if you if you look down in the lower right uh you see in the lower portion you see all the stats for that i, I can scroll i can scroll through and, and see launch direction launch angle I, you know i can see all the stats and then you see the little the little camera icon on the right hand side of just above the numbers i'm going to click on that and i will get the uh video of that swing uh hold on let's try that again uh you know what i'm going to show it to you in a different way it's not popping up for me on that for some reason on that i'm going to go back to this view so i just plugged it in the computer i think because i'm plugged in the computer yeah it's probably being weird so so let me try it this way so on this view on this view if i if you're scrolling on each, each individual shot i get all the data here so i can slide it over and oh, you see cool. the camera icon. So uh, first most important is the trash can. So when I hit a foul ball or I shank one, I can, uh, I, I, I can erase it. So uh, you don't maybe, that, maybe it was windy. You could yes, erase you don't have to see it. So, but let's hit, the, let's hit that camera icon. So I'm gonna hit the camera icon. And now you're gonna get the actual swing. Look at that, you guys. Is that insane? And you get the tracer. You get your your apex height, just like just like out on out on. Oh God, I hit a low ball. You could tell. So awesome, like six, dude. Six point three degree launch angle. I'm only getting 41, 41 feet of apex. So I'm hitting a low ball. It's a, a one forty two is pretty good ball speed for me. I hit that one really solid, but it's low. It's um, it's uh, if I could get that launch up, I would uh, I, I would uh, definitely increase my distance. And that's what's telling me. Now I can also take this. You see the scrub bar on the bottom. 
that, that I, I'm going to hit this and I can scrub it so I can come back and I can, take you can see what's going on with your swing. Yeah, I, I can see what's going on with my swing. So and how you hit it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, uh, my pro has me trying to, it says get, get a little bit more wrist cock. I've been, I've been trying to work on my wrist cock early cause I don't, I usually haven't been cocking. And then, and then when I get to the top, I, I kind of do this, this, uh, this reload thing with my body, which is not great. I kind of right there, kind of like I kind of lunge. Oh out, yeah. Know? Yeah. And, and, uh, you're and probably so delayed he, by like a half a second or something. Yes. Right? Yeah. So he says, you know, my backswing is too long, so I'm getting caught there. I need to shorten up the backswing, cock it early and I take a shorter backswing. What's cool too, is you can show us your pro and be like, look, this is what I've been doing. When you say I've been practicing and then he's like, Oh yeah, you're still doing X, Y, Z. And then you can work on X, Y, Z. Yep. And then, and then, so, so if I like that video, so if you see in the lower right hand uh, corner, there's a, uh, there's a send button. And the lower right corner is like a little arrow. So if I click on that, I can export it. So here, and then we work with, with partners. So we, 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 we've done some, some dummy, some dummy uh, logos. So if I wanted to put Forest Hills in the upper right corner, that's, my, that's our club. So if they had an outing, we could put their logo on every video. So let's just do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, I'll put the logo on there and then it exports it. And it's going to get prepared to export. And in, I'd say it's about six, seven seconds, it gets ready. And then I can go ahead and see, I can send this to anybody here. I can send it to, uh, you know, I can text it to you. I can email it to you. I can airdrop it. I can teams it. I can send this to my, to my pro. So, oh, wow. so, that's, so that's how, that's how easy uh, that it is to, is to send. And then the other part is that when I'm back in this view, if I, if I, if I, uh, Say, uh, say I wanted to change clubs. Say, I'd say this wasn't a three wood. This was a this was a driver. I would just come in and I would I would pop that button. And it would oh, you change it out because like oh that was the wrong I could, club. I, could, I could change it out. Yeah, yeah. So so that get, and so that gives you the view of the of what's going on in the uh, in in the, the 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 kind of the home view. Now, if you look at uh, uh, coach, so this is the is the is the portion. Oh, so I'm sorry. Upper left corner, you see sessions. You see that's how we're on sessions. But I can click on stats. And if I click on stats, now this gives me a summary by club of, of the averages of every club that I hit. So you can see in the top underneath home, it says lifetime. I can, and then over on the right, it says LT. I can switch from lifetime view. I can say, I want to see like the last month's worth of view. So here's my stats from the last month. And it gives you an idea of, of, every, of basically my club gaps, of what I've hit each club. I can pick, let's see what I've been hitting gap wedges for the last month. On last month, I've been averaging 105 yards, uh, distance, ball speed, 85 mile an hour. So that gives you everything. Um, There's no more guesswork, right? It's not, it's not like if you've been played for a couple months and you're like, oh, I have a seven iron, you know? And then it's like, well, maybe you should be hitting a seven iron because you're really hitting it short now. You know, it, like- it, it completely gives you from, from a club gapping. I think that's probably the number one. Everyone wants to know, everybody wants to know, number one, how do they, uh, how do they hit it further, right? But number two is, is uh, the club so gapping. Cool. It's yeah, so it, cool. It's yeah. so advanced. It's like, and the price point, I mean, they're $500, you guys. I mean, like th the price point is so affordable for the amount of technology you're getting. Um, it just, it just, I don't know. It's mind blowing. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a peek, a peek, a sneak peek. So if you hit coach, see at the bottom, look at, see on the bottom where we have the, we're on the home uh, page right now, but right next to home is coach. I can hit coach. And this is what is about oh, crap. to launch. This is what it's about to launch. So you see premium coaches. You see we're working with guys like Mark Blackburn, Mike Malaska, Helen Curtin here is our, one of our top local pros in the St. Louis area. And then we're working with Golf Digest on the bottom to be able to uh, – these are not live now, but they will be live where you can search for, for, for teachers if you want to send it. But see, for my coach, uh, up, upper left, you have Discover, and then I have my coaches. I'm going to hit my coaches. And uh, there, I've signed up with, uh, we're testing this with, uh, with Jeff Hodgkins, who's actually an, a fellow Rapsodo uh, employee. So I've been sending him, sending him uh, uh, back and forth. So I can click on that. And uh, Jeff, uh, it shows you a little lesson that, that we've been sending back and forth. I sent in some swings and he marked up some swings. And uh, here's the, here's the, he, we have a little, little chat going. You could tell he, he drew. Oh, so on, you can mark it up too. You can mark it up. Yeah. He drew on, he drew on my videos a little bit and he can, he can show how they, uh, he could show how one played uh, versus the other. Oh uh, uh, and you, you can, you can compare, compare one swing, you know, versus, versus another with all the launch data, with all the, the shot tracer. And this is all uh, that, this is what the coach 
gets uh, in their in their coach connect app. And then they can talk to you and be like, look, this is what you're doing wrong. It, exactly. It's this voiceover. He's got a little voiceover. He got a little chat if he wants to text, if he wants to type it in or if he wants to just voice it over. Uh, and, and, and it just. And he can do it, all on his phone, right? All on his, on his, his iPad. Yeah. He, he does it all on his iPad. Yeah, he and it just screen it. records the whole thing. And then he hits send and it comes back to me. And I go, oh, yeah, geez, I'm still doing that. Uh, still got that problem i gotta go and and then if he wants he can send me a drill he can have some canned drills that he just he just attaches to the to the conversation and sends them over so he could literally have like his own uh let's say i mean i could see you know a lot of well-known online golf coaches send like have a whole program and then just be like okay here's the program it's all recorded and it all gets imported in and they just send it to the student over the next year or whatever it might be absolutely yeah absolutely that's phenomenal. Um, can you give us a little more of a tour too? Cause this is really good stuff. You guys, I mean, this is the GM, right? So, I mean, he yeah, can tell so, you, uh, if, uh, so in this area, so if uh, the upper, so if I wanted to add a coach, I don't know if you have other teachers, you can add a coach, you hit that button and, and ask you just, so if I have a, my local pro that up, up, at the upper club, I wanted to, I want to be able to go back and forth to him and I could add him. He'll get an email saying, Hey, Art wants to add you as a coach and, and, and Art, I'm going to add you as my coach. He can accept. Oh, I don't know if you want me, you don't, you, you don't want me looking at, uh, at your swing. I, I, I don't think <laughs> this is a, uh, that it, golf it, digest feature is like phenomenal right yes. there. That, yeah, it, I mean, it's like you've gone from one game changer to a whole nother game changer just with what yes. you're doing right here. This, this is, is, uh, is very slick. Uh, then at the bottom, so at the bottom again, I'll hit play. So play in the middle. Play is the, is the play mode. So, so this is What's if play, act, mode? play play is you're actually going to record shots. Okay. So if you're going to record shots, I would hit play. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll hit. So I'll, I'll tell you what I have. I have my uh, mobile launch monitor right here sitting next to me. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to hit practice. So I would hit practice. Right, uh, the net is a beta. Right now we're outdoor only, but we are working on a beta, which should be live in about, I would say in about uh, 10 days, uh, where you can hit into a net as well. Uh, but let's say, let's say we're gonna do outdoor, let's say we're gonna go outdoor. So then you see, it'll ask me, it'll go, it, it goes to the GPS on my phone and it says, mark your current location. Now assume we're out on the range, that white, this is the area of that's my yard that's my house right there <laughs> i am sitting let's see is that right right about right by the front door yeah right by the front door that's me so i'm gonna turn the location <laughs> that's what i was doing with my, my i showed my dad this and we we're in his backyard yes. playing with it and it was like the same thing it was like oh my gosh let's assume my range goes directly across the street so i'm gonna say i'm gonna hit directly into our neighbor's yard across the street so let's say that's the direction of our range so we say okay confirm heading good and now we collect it connect it and uh, now you see, once it's connected, uh, the camera on my phone is activated. And also GPS-wise, it knows there's two, there's two golf courses or two ranges in this general area. Oh, my gosh. On this forest. So I'm going to say, yeah, I'm at Forest Hills Country Club. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit save. And that, now we're going. And now you can see, you're seeing what my phone is seeing. I would take this, and, and I'll show you. on my, So that's the, that's the, uh, the monitor the unit, right here. Yeah. I, I would take it. I would place it on the unit. I would actually place it, uh, well, the, I'm sorry, the, the cord's in the way, but I would, I would place it yeah. on the, and then I would face the direction that we're facing across the street. So we'd have to face across, across the street like that. Uh, and then we'd go hit. And uh, so uh, how so far back do you put that from where you're standing? You, you put this uh, six to eight feet in back of the ball. Okay. Okay. Six to eight feet. And, and if you notice uh, in the upper right corner, it, it says OT, that little gray circle. If I click on that, that's other. So I get to select my club. So, so I, cool. can, I can select my club, right? And uh, so I'm going to hit uh, three woods. So it'll, it changes to three wood. Uh, for woods, you're automatically, uh, for woods, you can, you can uh, either change from total distance to carry distance. Irons is automatically uh, carry distance. Uh, a neat feature we have also is that if you took your club, I don't have a club right here, but if you took your club and waved it in front of the camera and showed it the number on the bottom, uh, it reads the number on the sole of the club and will automatically change the club. So if I oh waved a five iron in front of this, it would see the number five on the bottom of my club and it would so it has AI and it can read it. It, it does. Like, oh. It does. We've trained it. We had to train it. Uh, we actually had, I had interns go into our bag room here and basically pull out everybody's club and take, take video of everybody's clubs so that we're training the computer to recognize what this number five looks like, what that number five looks like. Based what on what brands, look, yeah, yeah, whatever they might make it different. Brand. So you're all done. So, uh, so say I'm done hitting balls, then I would come out and I would 
hit the upper left, that R, our R logo in the upper left, I would hit that and it would say, okay, you're, gonna, you're about to exit your current session. I'm gonna say, yes, I'm gonna exit. And now we're back. And then, and then I would go back and I say, hey, I wanna review my sessions. Then I would go to that home, the lower left, and I'd go back to there. And now I'm back into, well, still in stats mode. So now I go to sessions mode. So now I'm back into this mode. And if I had just hit top, right? it would be on top. Yeah, it would be, you would have the most recent session on top. It would pop up and uh, I could go and review my shots. So can somebody use this like out when they're playing around, you know, uh, like you can, you can, it, it, just put uh, it behind it, you. And... Uh, I've done it. I've done it many times. I'll go out when, and uh, if I'm playing with three other, other guys, uh, I, I, what I'll do is, is as the first guy's going up to the, to the T I pull, I'm pulling this out. I'm, I'm, you, you saw me do the GPS right there. That's how yeah. long it takes. It does not take long. I, I can do the GPS, pick out the T we're on, get the shot. And I, and while he's, while he's seconds, he, while he's putting his ball on the ground, I'm, getting eight feet in back of him and, and, and saying, Hey, what's your target line? Are you target there? So I'm going to point it, point, I'm going to aim it at that tree. You're aiming at that tree. I set it there and I just get out of the way and he hits. And by the time everybody else hits, uh, by the time we reach, we've reached their balls, I have texted them their video of that shot. Oh my gosh. So can you create like different users or you just send them the, you send them the video and they're on your account? I, I, usually what I have is the easiest if I, I'll, I'll send them the video uh, you could create different users, but you'd have to have different users on the app. So you'd have to, you'd oh. have to sign in. You'd have to sign back out and then sign yeah. back in in the app under, under a different. But you used uh, to be like, a, so you would just put on a play session, right? And you're yes, just like, yes, exactly. as you did it, you just send it out to them real quick afterwards. It, it, exactly. So, so we would hit, so basically instead of 18 shots practice, it would say, uh, if I took all four of our shots, it would say four shots and it would say practice mode and it would say forest Hills club. And it would give the, give the, uh, the yardages. And then if you, if you, if you went to those four shots, it would be our four T shots. Then and you would know who's is who's because you guys know what your order was. Yes, exactly. And or I could play the video and I could see who's who. And then I, once I played the video, so I freaking cool. Play. So what do the other buttons do on the bottom? I mean, it's kind of cool getting a tour here because I mean, this is you don't get this kind of information without. Yeah. So uh, explore. Yeah, yeah, explore is a function that we we started off with that really has not been widely used. That we're so that we're not really we're not really. Uh, uh, putting it now so it was basically a, so there's faldo at the pga show uh he, it, it says me because he's using my i'm using my phone uh uh where he's giving a demo but explore was basically it's just a scroll it's a feed of shots we thought one of the interesting things was kind of cool people just like to see other people so there's chris bryant so we had uh, we have a bunch of our mlb players uh there uh that we've we've taken shots of so uh so luke weaver so we have a bunch of mlb guys uh, so we just thought there'd be this this kind of scroll of of a feed of shots. So if you want to just go there and just look at a bunch of people's shots, sometimes we'll we'll have it be uh, the you know best shots of the day, long drives of the day. It'll be uh, you know the WTF you know weird shots yeah. of, the, of of the day. So this is our way of just having a scroll. It's cool. It's, yeah, I think it's, it's cool. A, you it's know, a, it, it's it's kind of mesmerizing to watch people's shots. Uh, we we've we've set up with uh, with uh, we've done some uh, some tournaments with the teaching pro with, with club pros where we're out on the, on the, uh, on the golf course and we're taking everybody's shot from one hole, right? We're, we are the long drive contest, but we're going to get a video of you and your data. And then we'll go in afterwards at the cocktail reception and we hook this up to, we, we do an Apple TV up to a big screen and we'll scroll the entire day's shots on this constant feed. And it is unbelievable how everybody wants to come up and it's kind of mesmerizing how everybody wants to see everybody's shot and of course they want to see their own. They're waiting until their, you know, until their own shot comes up. That's so freaking cool. And then your profile is obviously your profile. Yes. Profile is a, so I, 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 I click, so on profile. So, so what you can also do is you can, you can uh, select, you, you can customize your bag. So if you have, you don't have to, you know, if you only use certain clubs, you can, you can customize that to whatever you want. Okay. Uh, and then there's some different things. So uh, uh, app setting, uh, here's where you can see your units. So you, you know, if you're in the, if you, if you, uh, want to do, uh, if you metric, live in a different part of the world, yeah, or if different part of the metric yeah. and then driver and wood distance, uh, it is defaulted to total, but if you just wanted to see how far you were carrying it, you could, you could switch it over to carry. Uh, I'm going to switch it back to total. Okay. That's a, that's profile. So that's, you know, th that's those so are, cool. That's pretty much the, you know, the, there's like the behind the scenes on Repsoto. 
it's a, I'm telling you, it is, if, if you like looking at it, like if, 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 if you like going to the range at all, uh, this will completely transform your range experience. Uh, oh, hundred percent. I think it'll transfer your game. Actually. I just think like, I don't know. I think as more people learn about it, they're gonna be like, Oh, I want that, you know, like just because it's cool. And what I like, what, uh, what I like about it too, is you're always updating the app. Right. And the app is like doing a lot of the heavy lifting, isn't it? That's why you or the, the, the phone yeah, is. Absolutely. If, if you talk to our, our, either our baseball, uh, you talk to our baseball customers or our golf customers and ask them how, how often is, uh, do, are, are their apps updated? Uh, I'm telling you, we, we have an internal, we probably have an internal, uh, new version of the golf app. Uh, I would say at least once a week, uh, where we're, we're working on new things, working on new things, working on, and then, and then we got to get it right. And we'll have a public release. We've probably had since, since, uh, since January, we've probably had, uh, a few different public releases. Uh, since oh yeah. January. You're always updating the app and it's yeah. like, it's, yeah. it's fluid, but if you buy a rap Soto now, right it's still going to be good a year from now because the app is doing all the stuff unless the app is do doing f- everything. Yeah. yeah. That, that it's like, so if you don't need to worry, like oh, I got to buy it. It's not like when you buy like a GPS watch or like a GPS or like, you know, it, the, the technology might ch- change, but that's okay because the base unit still works the way it's supposed to work. It, the app is what's going to be updated. Exactly. For example, I'll give you a sneak preview. So this is, so I, I have, I have not a public app. I have a, I have a beta of the new, and you see, here, uh, two sessions. First one is top one is outdoor. Hey, that second one, 18 shots says net. Let's see what that is. Oh, so snap. Okay, so I got a net. So I'm gonna I've heard it. about this. I know this is, this okay. is, a game. This is crazy so, right here. So now I have, I, I, this is shots from my, uh, my basement. I have a very dark basement. So here's, I took 18 shots. I hit pitching wedges and seven irons. Uh, so let's see, uh, let's see what this one looks like uh and let's go uh, back way again there it is there it oh, is nice that's me in my basement now look at that it, it's it's a uh, the 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 uh the lighting is not very good the lighting is different it's from and the background is different and uh but you're also indoors in a basement indoors, yep. using a tool that look at that you guys okay so i'm getting all the data now the one difference is no shot tracer you, no shot tracer into that because we're only seeing we're only seeing this is a, seeing about seven feet of ball flight, seven, eight feet of ball flight. Uh, so we're focused right now on making sure that you get the video. I can still scrub. I can still scrub. I can still, I can still take a look at that. At, you know, at, there's my same move where I'm, I'm kind of lunging down at it. That's I got to get rid of. Okay. Uh, but so I can still see that. I can still see all the data. Uh, but uh, the only difference is that indoors, you, you, in, into a net, you're never going to get an accurate shot tracer. You're just not seeing enough of the ball flight. That's so cool though. I mean, especially with, with COVID and everything, like people being at home, like they could just do this. They can do it in their backyard or they can, they can yes. do it indoors. And, and then we thought it was doing in the winter. We, we thought it was important that you keep the net sessions different from the outdoor sessions because, you know, I don't know about you, but my, my basement is, it's a relatively low ceiling. I cannot hit anything uh, probably over eight iron in there. Seven iron, I got to choke down on on these seven irons. Uh, so, so my distances are going to be, different than my full swing outdoor. So I don't want them co-mingled. I don't want those numbers to mess up my averages on my, on my, uh, outdoor. So session. how do you pick, you just pick when you do your session, well, you, just, separate. Yes. you just say yes. net instead of yes. outdoor. So when I hit play, so if I go play again, I play yeah. I practice and they're down at the bottom. Oh, the beta yes. net. Yeah, yes. Right. Net or outdoor. And so right away, if I hit net, then it's, uh, the GPS isn't going it, to, it's not going to matter. Right. So it doesn't, it doesn't, the GPS doesn't turn on. We'll show you location. Uh, yes. Yeah, it doesn't show the location and then, but it also trains, it also switches the, the computer and the camera over to, it's only going to track that eight, eight feet of ball flight, uh, instead of, instead of tracking the first, uh, you know, uh, probably 60, 70, 80 feet of ball flight. Wow. And that's, I mean, that's coming out like the next couple of weeks, right? indoor you saw right there we're we're uh we're fine tuning it down we we have a bunch of people on some of your listeners probably have been some of our beta testers we have we have some uh we've activated on some of the uh, uh apps depending on the phone type you have uh and, and so we've we've asked people to to submit because what we need to do is we need to train the camera to be able to recognize the ball in all these different settings you can see my setting where it's dark 
it's it's half backlit and half not backlit but somebody else's setting might be outdoors into into the sun where where it's a net that's kind of moving with the wind uh, so you got all these different things that the camera has to recognize and it's got to be able to isolate the ball separate from everything after all the all those noise it all the noise the exactly so so that's that's uh you know, for computer vision, guys, that's all about getting reps. It's just, it's just you, you need lots and lots of, of repetitions of different settings to train the computer, uh, you know, what, what's, what's what. That's awesome. I mean, there's so much coming out. I mean, you know, in the next, next couple of weeks with the, with the new update, it's going to be crazy. I mean, this is, I mean, you think about it, this product's only been around for less than a year technically like on the market right since you said it was like it right. got displayed at the you know the las vegas show and then you started selling them in september here it is june look, look it's june you guys and they've already made like massive updates and then they're making even more massive updates because it's just i don't know it, it's so cool i don't know, I think it's uh, the coolest. we have uh it's it, i mean we may seem like a small company we have there's probably 20 of us in the u.s on sales marketing distribution uh, most, uh, uh, I'd say two thirds on baseball, working the baseball business right now. So it's a very small golf crew. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. But we have, that. we have, uh, I think about 30 people in Singapore, uh, a bunch of, a bunch of PhDs, uh, computer vision, a bunch of supply chain, you know, uh, operations people. And then we have another 30 people in Turkey. Our, our founder is, is again, a Turkish engineer knows the, knows the, 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 uh, the engineering scene over there quite well. We have another 30 plus people in Turkey. Uh, doing uh, all of this, uh, this type of uh, uh, analytics work. Uh, and uh, the, these, it's, it's, it's like a hundred people. It's a hundred person. It's, it's a, it's, it is absolutely. It's a, it's about a hundred people working on this. Uh, and it is around the clock, literally based on the time zones. Oh yeah. Uh, pretty, you're all, you're all the major the time zones. On. I'll show you. I'll, I'll click on this closed competitions. There's another little feature so that we, you can do these, these little, these little competitions. So if you want to, you can enter, enter competitions that we run occasionally and we give away a little prize. So we'll do it closest to the pin, 170 yards. You basically set it up. You get five shots to see how far you can hit it, to, to hit it close to a 170 yard target. Uh, and uh, so we'll do close to the pin, long drive. This is kind of just a way to have. It's cool to like interact with, the, with your consumer too. Right. Yeah. And then it's kind of fun. I mean, this could grow out too for all, you know, just because people are very competitive and they'd be like, Oh yeah. When a, trip to wherever you know it's some kind of deal with cult digest or something yeah that is that is so cool well i didn't know we were going to have a behind the scenes look today on the app which i think is great because i know people love seeing it right it's hard to talk about a product without actually seeing it and i can show you on a phone and be like oh here it is and here's how it looks and then but they're not going to really see it but thanks very much for showing this this is really neat um i'm going to stop sharing here Okay.